In one of my most recent cinematic clips, I do a lot of different types of effects and transitions and story and voiceover and all kinds of stuff. And a lot of people really received it well. So today I want to start with a series talking about some of the effects I do. More specifically today I want to talk about this double exposure effect in Final Cut Pro X and how you can do that as well to incorporate cool effects into your videos. Now the reason that I wanted to utilize this double exposure effect is because this little short that I was making is kind of about this internal conflict within myself battling one thought process versus another and trying to find myself in this world. So if you're interested in learning about how I did this double exposure effect, stay tuned for today's episode. So first and foremost, I hope you're having an amazing day. I know I am because I'm getting to bring you something that makes me truly happy and that's how to do these awesome things. One of the greatest things about YouTube and creation and learning things is the fact that I get to share things as well. When I was first learning photography and videography, it was so exciting to go and find out about all these cool effects and these different ways to do things. And you know, that to me was the process that was the most fun. But anyhow, for what you've came here for today, let's learn how I did this double exposure. So when you're working with double exposures, the first thing you want to do is make sure you find clips that work well together. You know, like here with me walking through the forest, this looks pretty cool. It works pretty well together. And then of course these scenes where I'm walking, you know, it's cool to show my feet as well as my concern as I'm walking. And then, you know, just clips of two of me kind of blending in and mashing with one another. It gives you that really nice contrast between these two thought processes that I was going through in the video. So once you find your clips, you need a base clip, a solid base clip to kind of tell the story and work well with the image. And then on top of that, you need to find clips that are going to clash and contrast well, but also fit in and make sense. So the way that I did this, after I got my base clip put in here, I'm going to go ahead and delete this little editing layer that I started. And I'm going to show you what it looked like prior to all that happening. So once I got my clip on top, what you have to do is go into your blend modes and I found for me that exclusion worked the best. So obviously normal, it's just my feet in the actual clip, but I played around with various different blend modes and found that exclusion looked the best of all. But you'll notice that it's a little bit washed out, a little bit too dreamy of a look and you can't really tell what's going on in the bottom clip. So in the bottom clip, what I did was add a color board adjustment and all I did was go into my exposure settings and then I just pulled the blacks down. So without that coloring adjustment, you kind of see that it's a little bit washed out here. So if you just pull down on the blacks, that gives you a nicer contrast to be able to see the difference between these two clips. So now let's go ahead and just play that through. And realistically, that's all I did. Other than that, it's just figuring out which clips are going to work best for you and just doing minor adjustments to those settings to get everything to blend all nice and neat. And I'm not going to overcomplicate this today and throw in a bunch more stuff. I'm going to leave you there and just let you know that that's pretty much all you got to do. It's a very simple effect. It works really well in certain situations and hopefully you guys can get some use out of it. If you do utilize this tutorial, please definitely link in the comment section below a video you may with that because I would love to check it out. But guys, I'm not going to keep you any longer today. Hope you have an amazing day. And as always, be sure to create something new today.